Hello and welcome to FM Review. I'm your host, Freddie Robinson, and in today's video I'll be going over the Zoetech Selfie Robot model ZW-SR03. And I would like to thank AliExpress for sending me this to make a video review of. And so if you want to make your cell phone happy and witness the future of selfie taking technology, stick around for the video. Everything has been unpackaged and you can see what comes in the box. First you get a full color illustrated owner's guide, then you get the selfie robot, a USB charging cable, and I got the optional Bluetooth remote control. And taking a closer look at the owner's manual will let you know that you do have the steps included on how to connect the device to your phone and it also has an illustration of how to use the software that comes with it that lets you have total control of your picture taking and the freedom of your hands. And taking a closer look at the selfie robot, on the front you do see the Zoetech logo and name as well as a L an LED for your Bluetooth connectivity. On the top you do have a power button and you have a fold out cradle for your phone to sit in. And once the cradle is lifted, you can see that you do have your area for the phone to sit in. And a side view will let you see that this is notched. And you can hear the notch clicking as it goes into place for your different angles. And this is a very sturdy notch that will not let your phone fall out of place. So it will hold it in place good while you're taking your selfie pictures. On the back side, you do have a USB charging port. And on the bottom, you do have your connection if you wanted to put this on a tripod. And this would be a quarter inch tripod connection. This little round black area is actually the base that it sets on your surface. And this rotates 360 degrees. And you also get a USB charging cable for your selfie robot. You do have the micro USB on one end and the standard USB on the other end. And this can plug into your laptop for quick charging, or if you have an adapter, you can plug this in the wall and it works the same way. And taking a closer look at the optional Bluetooth remote, you can see that it does have a four direction pad where up and down acts as your zoom in and zoom out. And then left and right would be your rotation on the base for the robot to take your pictures with. You do have an LED that lets you know that it's powered on and that it's connected to the selfie robot. Below the D-pad you do have an action button and that would trigger your picture taking or recording a video. Along the side you do have a slider button for the on off switch and on the bottom you do have the compartment for your batteries. This remote is powered by two AA batteries, and this is where the bulk of the weight of this remote comes in. The feel of this remote is very nice, and it's very sturdy, and it feels well built. The buttons feel solid, and it does feel like it'll hold up to maybe some wear and tear in your pocket, or in your carry-on bag, or your camera bag. So don't worry about this being fragile, it feels real solid, and well built. And now I'll go over the technical specs for the selfie robot. The maximum weight for your phone is 200 grams. The maximum thickness for your phone is 7 to 9 millimeters. The horizontal rotation is 360 degrees. The tripod size supported is 1 quarter inch standard tripod. The phone panel size is a maximum of 5.5 inches. The product size of the selfie robot is 46 millimeters high by 75 millimeters in diameter. You do have a rechargeable lithium ion battery. It supports Bluetooth versions 4.0 and above. This works from 10 meters. The languages supported is English, German, French, Spanish, Korean, Japanese, and Chinese and the actual phone that it supports will be Android 4.3 phones and above and Apple iPhones with iOS 7 and above. The selfie robot is compatible with both Android and iPhones. As long as your Android operating system is 4.3 and higher 
and your Apple's iOS is 7.0 and above. And just for good measures, I am updating the latest software for my iPhone. I would like to say that this selfie robot has three different modes, and that would be single mode, couple mode, and group mode. Each mode features smart tracking face detection and automatic picture taking, so you never have to use your hands to hold a selfie stick when you have this selfie robot. It's very simple and easy to connect your phone to the selfie robot. Make sure that the power is on the selfie robot and download the Fedora app on your phone. Once the app is installed on your phone, it'll connect through Bluetooth to the selfie robot. And then you get the powerful features that were mentioned earlier with single mode, couple mode, and group mode. And now I will just go to the app store and download the Fedora application. And that is spelled F-I-E-D-O-R-A. And you can see what it looks like when it pulls up the results. And I'll just go ahead and select that and go through the process of downloading and opening. And I have powered on the selfie robot, the remote, and I'm opening the Fedora app to connect all three together. And on the bottom of the app you do see the button for the selfie robot. I do not have Bluetooth turned on my phone, but a good thing about the software is it will turn the Bluetooth on itself. And so I'll just go ahead and let it turn on the Bluetooth. And it will search for the remote and the selfie robot. And you can see that they have been paired and connected and it automatically goes into the Fedora software. So now you have the solid green light on the remote and the solid blue light on the selfie robot. Now I have my phone in the selfie robot with the Fedora software opened and I will be using the remote to zoom in and out and do 360 degree rotations. First all I'll do is press the left button down and rotate all the way around letting you see that it does have true 360 degree rotation and you can also see that it does hold the phone upright and it doesn't shake and it has a very sturdy hold to it. Now I'll give you a demonstration of the zoom feature and I'll try to zoom in on the candle on my table. So I'll go to the right and that looks like that is it. Let me just fine-tune zooming here. Now I'll go up and that's your zoom in. And let's go over a little bit more to the right. There we go. Now we have it. And zoom in a little bit further. Good. And now you can see how well that zooms and works. And I'll just go ahead and zoom back out. And see how the zoom out function works. And you can make little small minor adjustments by pressing the button once or you can make large adjustments by holding the button down. And I have the power on the selfie robot and I will go ahead and power on my iPhone. Turn my Bluetooth settings on, which they are on make sure that my Bluetooth is on and then I'll find the Fedora app open it up and connect it to the selfie robot at the very bottom you can see the icon for the selfie robot and now I have the selfie robot connected to my phone and I have the Fedora app open before I go any further I have a backdrop with M&Ms on a white piece of paper and I have the Fedora app open and I wanted to go into what some of these buttons are the application. Starting on the right side, the top button is your Bluetooth connection. The second button is your face recognition mode. The third button is your panoramic selfie. The fourth button is for video. And the bottom button is your settings. Going over to the left side, 
the top button is going to toggle between your front facing and rear facing camera. The middle button is going to be for your flash and the very bottom is your photo page which shows your last picture taken. I would like to mention again that the selfie robot and software has three different modes and that is single mode, couple mode, and group mode. And each one of these mode features smart tracking face detection and automatic picture taking. And so it eliminates the need for you to use your hands to hold a selfie stick. And now I'll go over how this works with face tracking. And so you just go ahead and press your face tracking button and you're given the different modes. The very top mode is your singles mode and that's just one person in a picture. Below that you have the two people together with the heart and that represents couples mode. The third one would represent a group mode. So I'll just go ahead and select the single mode and see what happens. And you can see it turning trying to find my face as I move. And you can notice that it's going 360 degrees all the way around until it finds my face. And I'll move left and right and let you see a demonstration of how the self-tracking function works. Hey everyone, now I'll be doing some face tracking testing so you can see how this actually moves. And I'll be using the singles mode for this. And you can see how it's actually drawing a square around my face. And so I'll just go ahead and start using this and let you see how it is in action. And now you can see where it's doing the countdown timer and taking the picture. And so you have the red box that has the actual person that's fixing to take the picture and you have the countdown timer. And now I'll give you an over the shoulder demonstration of the face tracking and automatic picture taking features of the selfie robot. And this does leave you hands free for picture taking. And once it finds my face it'll draw a red square around it and give me a two second countdown timer before the picture is taken. And now I'll give you some great examples of how well this works for me and how it helps me with my day-to-day -day activities and some selfie taking picture opportunities. And for starters this doubles as an excellent cell phone holder and here you can see that I have it sitting next to my laptop when I do my video editing just so I can keep my phone in a convenient easy to see and easy to touch area. The selfie robot will hold your phone in both landscape and portrait formats and that makes it easy for watching videos. On the bottom of the selfie robot you do have an attachment if you wanted to add a tripod to it and I'll just show you what that looks like and some of the added flexibility that it gives you when using it paired with a tripod. And here you can see that it is attached around the door handle of my bedroom and you can see how flexible and how easy it is for this to take selfies because I'm standing maybe eight feet away from the actual door. And speaking of distance, you no longer have the burden of distance when using the selfie robot. Because you don't have to use your hands, therefore you don't need a selfie stick. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. And so what is my opinion of the selfie robot after using it for a couple weeks getting to know its features and functions. I give it two thumbs up because it is a great cell phone accessory and it is the perfect selfie device. It is truly 100% hands free. You never have to touch anything with the convenience of the face tracking and automatic picture functions. You do not have the limitations of the selfie stick being at a certain distance or having the wobble and shake trying to get a perfectly still picture because your arm is trembling when holding your selfie stick out. 
You can also take a picture from a further distance than a selfie stick will allow, and you do not get banned from sporting events because of the nuisance that a selfie stick causes. And if you do like taking pictures or have a friend or family member that likes taking pictures, the selfie robot will make a perfect gift for the holiday season. And so you can basically take this old, obsolete, and annoying selfie stick and throw it in the trash because you will no longer need it, nor will you need your hands when you use the Zoetech Selfie Robot. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to keep more awesome FM reviews coming your way. Three, two, one, action. All right, now Eminem, if you don't behave, you're gonna get eight sooner than you wanted to be. And I have pressed the face recognition bode mutton. <coughs> bode mutton.